What's good, YouTube? Hitman X. Make sure you hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. So, um, according to Brian Scalabrini, a.k.a. the White Mamba, a.k.a. the greatest bum uh, bench warmer, uh, Gatorade passer of all time, um, <coughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo is rumored to go to the Dallas Mavericks now. Um, I feel like that would be a good pickup. Of course, who doesn't want Giannis Antetokounmpo? But uh, him in Dallas will be a filthy, filthy team to have to go against. Um, he's already a problem in Milwaukee with bums like Eric Bledsoe and, you know, just, just Eric Bledsoe. But um, to go to Dallas and team up with Christoph Porzingis, you, ma you match them two together, man, that's that's a hell of a team. Um, I I'm going to go ahead and say this. I I would much rather him go to Miami and pull a KD move. And I know it sounds crazy, right? You know, you join a team that beats you, and I would much rather have that. But I would much rather see that than to see him in Dallas. Him in Dallas, my God, man. Like, <laughs> that's that's just, to me, that's, you know, that's, that's unfathomable to imagine Giannis Antetokounmpo in Dallas. I know they have enough cap. Uh, I know they have, you know, a few contracts they could get off of, like Tim Hardaway Jr. or whatever. But um, in my opinion, I just feel like it's a reach because at the end of the day, um, there are teams that are better fits for him, like Toronto. I feel like Toronto is the perfect fit for him. You could create – you could potentially create a death lineup with Giannis in Toronto. You could have Kyle Lowry, uh, Norman Powell, uh, Pascal, Giannis, and Ibaka. Granted, if they if they keep Ibaka, if they're able to retain Ibaka, and um, and Kyle Lowry, that that would be a complete death lineup. Now, the uh, the issue with the Toronto Raptors is, in order to keep all those players, somebody got to take a pay cut. You know, I I'll, I'll be looking at Kyle Lowry to take a pay cut. Like, for teams to be, like, quote-unquote super teams and great and win championships, somebody has to be willing to, to bite the bu bullet. Think about all the great, quote-unquote, super teams. Uh, LeBron James took a pay cut in Miami. Hell, even Wade took a pay cut. They all could have got more money, but they took less to get a championship. Uh, look at the Clippers. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with the Warriors first. Look at the Warriors. KD took a pay cut. Uh, Steph Curry was on a favorable contract. So they was able to make more moves. Uh, look at the Clippers. You got Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell. I think they both getting like, what, 10, 11 mil? Somewhere around that range. Like, they took, they took budget contracts to sacrifice for a championship. Now, the Clippers still haven't won a championship yet. But, um... It, it's, it looked like they're very well on their way. But um, that's what it takes to win a championship or to build a championship team in this day and age. And um, so far, I don't, I don't I don't see the Mavericks, anybody on the Mavericks taking a pay cut. Um, Toronto still has a chance, like I said, to, to build that team. But one of those two players are going to have to, you know, ease up on the contract negotiations and say, you know what? What's more important, winning championships or getting money? You know, um, I also like Miami just just off the strength of their depth. I feel like they're the deepest team in the NBA, um, deeper than the Clippers, because you have a player like Goran Dragic coming off the bench behind Kendrick Nunn, who's you know emerging as a I ain't gonna say superstar, but a star player. Um, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, I, I love those those two games. I ain't gonna lie, I like that game. Um, Jay Crowder, Andre Iguodala, Bam Adebayo. I mean, Kelly, come on. I don't really like Kelly Olenek, but just in totality, that team is completely – Giannis would plug in perfectly on that team. You match him up with Bam Adebayo, those two on on the defensive end, com, com, compare – I mean, not compare, but uh, combined with Jimmy Butler's defense, I mean – Miami is the ideal place for Giannis. But um, like I said, man, it's just unfortunate that they had to play them in the playoffs and they're going to more likely get put out because now if he joins them, it's like, oh, he's KD all over again. So, 
It is what it is. We'll see what Giannis does. Like I said, if he goes to Dallas, whatever team he goes to, hell, if he goes to Phoenix, that's where I want to see him go. He goes to Phoenix, that's a good matchup. You put him over there with DeAndre Aiden and Devin Booker, come on now. Talk to me now. Talk to me nice. But, uh, <laughs> nah, man, he go to Dallas, man, I feel like that. They'll be a perennial championship contender easily. You know, him and Kristaps, two two dogs in that. Man, come on now. I, I, I like that. I, I like that matchup, but I'm hoping, in the back of my mind, I'm hoping that he does he doesn't go to Dallas. I'm just praying that he doesn't go to Dallas. Y'all already know why. But uh, Hitman X, that's all I got. Hit the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.